pulling after uh, 739. There's the sunshine. Beautiful look uh, outside of uh, downtown Minneapolis. We're looking away from downtown Minneapolis to the east as we're starting off uh, very, very mild. Right now sitting in the low 30s, there's still little light fog left over. Some uh, some patchy little clouds as well, but we're losing those very quickly at this hour. We are frozen. Temperatures heading back eh, low to middle 40s by the lunch hour, give or take, as uh, we'll continue to see the bright and quickly warming temperatures. In fact, we may go from the low 40s early lunch hour like 1130, 1145 to the low 50s by the late lunch hour, talking 1230, 1245, 1 o'clock. So that's how quickly temperatures are going to climb and quite likely heading for one of the warmest calendar or warmest calendar days, but warmest days in the month of January on record here in the Twin Cities. Warmest temperature we've ever seen dating back to 1872 is 58 degrees. Now, obviously, we had a 50 on Monday, so that was our 13th time we've managed to do that. We'll likely do it for the 14th time today. And I did want to point out and just briefly mention, uh, I got an email from uh, a viewer li named Linda and Egan. She's like, why do uh, your forecasts say 54, but the Fox 9 weather app actually says something different? It's because our weather app, to just give you a little brief Reader's Digest version, the weather app in order to forecast for your location, we have to use a computer model. So it's not directly from us. It's actually interpreting a computer model. There's no human interaction in the forecast in that. That's the only way we are able to forecast uh, based off of GPS location is so the, the weather app throws it in there or the, um, the weather model is thrown in there. Well, on days like today, especially when you have near record uh, warmth or near record cold, weather apps don't want to show that as well. And so we, you need human interaction to be able to show that. So just kind of a little glimpse into uh, how we forecast things and how we deal with stuff. Linda, thank you for the email. That's one of the reasons why it's going to look a little different, especially on days like today. Now, meanwhile, yesterday afternoon, we managed some low 40s here, but I wanted to point this out. Maple Creek in Saskatchewan, I know many of us never heard of it. It's in southwestern Saskatchewan. They actually have a high temperature of 70. That is a territory January record high and one degree shy of the Canadian January record high of 71. Also wanted to point out and why this is important. Maple Creek at 70 yesterday afternoon. Meanwhile, at the same time, Key West Florida was at 68. To say that this is unusual is an understatement. We're back obviously frozen in spots across the upper Midwest, but not a lot of frozen numbers across much of the country. The fog issues done here still across portions of northern Iowa. High pressure building its way in. It's going to be phenomenally warm. Big pattern change for the West Coast. Kind of see the cinnamon, cinnamon roll swirl off the West Coast. Lots of moisture rolling into California. Much needed, by the way, for them. Meanwhile, around here, the only moisture to speak of is what's left of the patchy morning fog. Afternoon temperatures well in the 50s. We're going to try for a high of 54 here in the Twin Cities some pocket 60s across the southwest. We do start to cool off a little bit tomorrow and into Friday, but still feels a lot like late March and early April. We'll talk that 70 forecast at 749. We're taking a break. Here's a live look in Lake Harriet, and they are plunging despite the forecast. You guys are brave, really brave. Stick around. We're back in a couple minutes.